I'm just a kid and my life is a nightmare. I'm just a kid, I know that it's not fair. Hey guys, how's it going? It is I, the real Randy Chavez, coming out with a little simple plan. This is going to be an Omi Vivi Ikomi update video. Are you guys excited? Before we get started, everyone say hello to Dashi. Hello, Dashi. Guys, if you're new, welcome. If you're not, welcome back. Virtual hugs for y'all. Okay, so why am I a little excited today? I made a mistake in one of my last videos where I said that uh, Vivi has 100,000 users. Clearly they have had it for a little while. What the tweet was, was that they had had 100,000 users for the OMI token. I misread that. It's my fault. Apologies. Retracted on that last statement. Uh, but yeah, they have 100,000 OMI holders. I, I don't know if they're all hodlers like me, but if you look at the uh, people who hold the token, the top like 100 people have, or the top like 50, have billions of tokens. Now, I don't know how many of these people are people that have, that work for it. Because at first I'm thinking like, okay, well, a bunch of these people, they're probably whales. They might be angel investors, whatever. But a bunch of these people are also probably people that made the company. And that makes such perfect sense. And I'm going to get to the quarter million V users that they have in a second. But right now I'm just going to focus on Omi. So they have the, I, I, again, a, a minimum, like a hundred users. There's, there's like 4,000, there's, there's a hundred thousand Omi holders, but there's like a hundred of those that just have a billion coins or more. And some of them have like 296 billion coins. It's ridiculous. Oh no, I'm, I'm sorry. A 2.96 billion coins or, or 29 billion. However much there are, there's a lot. And out of that, I'm thinking, okay, well, why would they hold that? And it makes perfect sense because if the owners give themselves the coins and then the company, again, you have the owners, let's say me, I have, uh, I'm an owner of, let's say, uh, the, the, the VV app. And I'm also just a regular person that happens to have a bunch of, a billion of these VV coins, a billion of these VV tokens. And then the app, the VV app runs out of tokens and it has to buy more. Well, what am I going to do? Am I going to sell part of my stake in it? Or am I going to let other people sell part of their stake in it when it reaches five, 10 cents, a quarter, 50 cents? I'm going to let other people do that because that means the more that other people sell, the less that there's in the marketplace, the less that there's in the marketplace, the more value of my coins go up. And eventually what's going to happen is there's going to be no more in the marketplace. Then when the thing is like five freaking dollars in like 10 years, they're going to like, okay, now I'm going to sell because now I have like $10 billion. So uh, it, it makes perfect sense. And if, let's say right now, a, a lot of people in a different scenario are all hodlers like me. Let's say everyone is just hodling, waiting for like the dollar mark. But the VV app needs more coins in, you know, when, when the coin is only 50 cents. So if they need more coins when the coin is only 50 cents and the app can't get it from the normal marketplace. That's when the owners will be like, okay, well... For the sake for the sake of the company, I'm going to liquidate some of my coins, even though I, I don't want to, and they're going to do that there. So um, we could, and that could be great for us because if, if the owners are selling, uh, then that means they're not getting it from the community. They're not getting it from us, which the price is going to heck and skyrocket. That's I again, I'm, this is not financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor. I just got back from the bank though, and I did another wire to a Coinbase, um, so I could buy more Bitcoin. But because I'm selling. A lot, I'm transferring a lot of my Bitcoin to a friend of mine that can buy the Omi coin on Bitforex. Bitforex does not want to work on my phone. I think it's because I'm in New York. New York is very anti-crypto. Uh, and he can do that. Shout out to you, Steve. You're, you're my homie. I love you. I give him $10 every transfer because he deserves it. Now, having said that, I'm not in the millionaire club yet. I, I don't have a million coins. I think after... Today and yesterday, I have I have over 600,000. I, I might be closing in on that 700,000 coins. So I don't have a million yet. But again, I am, I'm selling Pokemon cards for this. I just went to the bank. I have a bunch of cards in safety deposit box. I took pictures of a lot of the cards. I'm going to put them up on eBay after this. Uh, yeah, and then that's several more thousand dollars that I can put into this. Um, again, when that big one sells, uh, $50,000 going to Naomi easily. Uh, I, I want as many coins as I can get. Now, outside of that... I'm going to say uh, the VV app, I'm just transitioning over here. The VV app has a quarter million users now, as per the email yesterday when they said Ultraman was delayed. Uh, and the, the good thing about this is that I did, or bad thing, but good thing as well, 
silver lining. I did see a bunch of people complaining yesterday, like, why, why is this? What happened? Why, why are we not, you know, we just loaded up on gems, and, you know, now they say it's delayed, you know, the Ultraman uh, NFTs, and it's like, okay, well, but they did it for, for a reason. They did it for all these reasons. The marketplace is going to be available to every single person. I, I, think, I think as soon as next week, everyone is going to be able to use that. They're out of the beta phase. Like, they're, they're moving at a fantastic rate, at a super fast pace. I am so proud of them. I'm so proud of the developers. They, like, wow, good for them. And what, what's exciting about it is that you have these um, different licenses that, and different brands that they have NDAs on that they haven't even, they have not even said yet because of the NDAs, the non-disclosure agreements. You do, and I'm like king of those. I had to sign a bunch of them when I left the military. Um, so you get <laughs> working jobs with different things. Anyway, um, so they can't say until a certain date some uh, some disclosures uh, NDA to say like you can't say things ever, but uh, that's not like this. What, what they're the NDAs that they had signed is just that they're not allowed to mention a certain brand or certain whatever until X amount of days before they launch, before they drop it. And with a quarter a quarter of a million BV users, first off, that's a great milestone. So congrats on that. Second off, that's nothing. We are still in the early stages where uh, again people are just. A bunch of them are just collectors, which is fine. I, I'm going to go and buy stuff because I'm a collector too. Like, like Pokemon cards, that's what I did for a living. Uh, partly, that was my second business. And I, I, everyone, I think at heart, is a collector. I, I think people like art. Everyone likes art. Some people just don't know it yet. And the, they're not just having collectibles on one thing. It's not just, you know, Cartoon Network. Or it's not just Powerpuff Girls, which is also on Cartoon Network. But again, 100 brands. NFL, Ultraman, they have Bandai, they or they're working with Bandai, at least on Ultraman. So many different things, and they have content for years to come, most of which they haven't even mentioned yet. Yeah, they mentioned Jurassic Park. Yeah, they mentioned Star Trek. Yeah, they mentioned all these great, amazing things, but um, when they said they have a 12 out of 10, the best is yet to come, take over the world, shooting to the moon. Yeah, um, I, I, I'm, I was happy last night and this morning when it went from, set like, 0 0.007 cents now it's 0 0.0068 or whatever and i could buy more at that price it's like thank you jesus <laughs> like seriously was, um so that's good and and you see the immaturity with a couple of people getting really pissed off that things are delayed by a certain amount of time it's like okay well this happens you know th yeah these this company might have that might be worth you know tens of millions maybe a hundred million dollars but you have giant companies like like tesla that are worth hundreds of billions of dollars with a b is in bravo and that'll be a trillion dollar company in the future. Elon Musk sets almost impossible standards and timelines, and he almost never meets them. But nobody cares because this man's such a genius. Like, if these guys have to delay something by a couple of days or a week, okay, that's fine. I like, like we're not waiting like an extra year for it. Uh, and they're doing that for a good reason. It's not because like they messed up. No, it's because they have to scale. And this, yeah, this is just the beginning. Um, we're gonna have, we're gonna quadruple in size before the end of the year at least. Mark my words on that. Uh, you heard it here first. I have over a million users before the end of the year. Um, comment down below if you think I'm wrong. Comment down below if you think, yeah, Charles, we're going to have a million users by the end of summer. Okay, yeah, you know, maybe, maybe. Um, and, and like I said, my timeline for Omi, a few videos ago, it was, yeah, 10 cents by the, by, you know, by next year sometime. Um, where in my one of my last videos, I said, oh, yeah, probably 10 cents by the end of the year. Um, I think we could reach 10 cents by the end of the third quarter. Uh, third quarter, meaning like, all right, so October, November, December, that's fourth quarter. So <laughs> now November, March, April, May, June. So July, August, September. In July, August, September, in those months, I say we reach 10 cents. Uh, so most likely by September again. Call me out if I'm wrong. We heard it here first. We're going to refer back to this video, uh, the 10th the and mark and, and, and beyond. And I, I hope it doesn't go up too quickly because I, I still want to buy more. I hope that it doesn't go up to, you know, four. I hope it doesn't reach four cents, you know, by, by June. I, I hope I hope I have enough time to buy in while still under a penny. I am selling Pokemon cards. I'm buying things as fast as I can because I know it's a limited time. And and be advised, once it hits 10 cents, it's not like, oh, time to sell, time to sell, 10x my money. No, no, I, I'm not going to do that. Even though it's a never bad idea to take profit, you, you never went broke by taking a profit. And, and you have to sometimes. So, you know, if you put in, let's say, $1,000, you know, at a penny, and then it's up to ten thousand dollars now. Okay, well, it, it's not a bad idea to take a thousand dollars to take your initial investment off the table, 
And this way you're just playing with house money. It's not a bit, I don't do that. Uh, many people smarter than me said, hey, you should probably do that just in case. I don't, I've been very lucky or I just I just invest in really good products. Like I'm Tesla, Bitcoin, Pokemon cards. I, I, just, don't, I just don't sell. I'm selling now just to uh, buy more Omi. I, I think I'm an addict. <laughs> I need help. I need more Omi. Um, yeah, th this is something that I, I want to have millions and millions of coins of because th this is going to hit a dollar at some point. This is, and again, not financial advice. I don't have a crystal ball. You know, there could be uh, Poland Spring or Scott Toilet Paper Company, Skippy. There could be, I'm just looking for brands around my house, Heineken, that could make, Heineken could have a thing with beers. Like they could have NFT beers, NFT White Claws, NFT this, and then they could go into this market as well. Oh, there's Pickard having a beer. Here's uh, Blossom Bubbles and Buttercup having a White Claw. And they could do that, and, and it could be better than VV. And, you know, VV could go to the ground. I don't think that's possible, but a a anything is possible. Uh, so I just want to try to bring myself back down to reality a little bit here. That being said, I'm, I'm hodling. I'm, I'm literally risking my retirement on this. Uh, for those of you that don't know, I'm retired, and I'm selling this big Pokemon card. Probably half is going into Bitcoin, half is in here. Um, and yeah, if, if this goes to the ground, then it goes to the ground. But I, I, I can afford to lose, you know, let's say I only put in 50 grand. I could afford to lose a 50 grand. You know, that's fine. I would have to go back to work. Yeah, probably, may, uh, maybe not. Probably not. But what I can't afford to do is, let's say if I get in $50,000 when this is 10 cents, I can't afford to lose the uh, $450,000 where it goes from 10 cents to a dollar. You know, at 10 X's. And that's if I get in at 10 cents. I'm hoping to get in when this is still around a penny. Um, even four pennies or whatever it is. Uh, five pennies. Uh, again, that's just my plan. Uh, just keeping things real. I'm keeping things very, very transparent. I just went from the bank today. Uh, just transferred another $1,500 to Coinbase so I can buy more Bitcoin so I can replace the amount of Bitcoin I'm sending my friend so he could buy more Omi. Anyway, guys, thank you for listening. Please comment, like, and subscribe. Comments are good for the YouTube algorithm. Everyone say bye-bye to Dashi. Bye-bye, Dashi. Love you guys. Goodbye. Meow, 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 meow.